Hello, good morning. Uh, it's Monday, so it's time for the Monday Live. And uh, well, this week uh, it's been a little bit complicated. Uh, you might have noticed I was uh, not as present on the social media as possible. Uh, I am really focusing on my client works uh, because, uh, well, there's a lot uh, and uh, uh, it's quite an intense moment. I'm not uh, particularly fond about talking uh, about myself, uh, uh, but I know that uh, we are on this kind of channels because we connect with each other. So it's not just about uh, talking uh, um, um, about uh, work and business. Uh, that's uh, what this session is about uh, how do we connect uh, the social media presence uh, and the SEO if there is any, any correlation. And uh, I know that people uh, uh, buy from people, so there is plenty of other SEO specialists around. So if you are dealing with me, if you are one of my clients, if you're interested in working with me, or if you just like uh, following uh, my channels and staying in touch with me, it means that uh, there is a, some kind of trust. Uh, and I'm really grateful and happy about this. Uh, so, well, <laughs> the issue is that I'm moving, uh, so just um, not moving far away, but, uh, you know, those intense moments in which uh, everything is happening and uh, you can't uh, stay and keep up with uh, all the social media presence as you would like. So, But I am here, so feel free to write and send a message or a contact if you like. Uh, I will get back. I'm not as active as I was, but I will be again. Uh, and uh, our Monday Live is a very important uh, appointment for me, something I don't want to miss uh, uh, in case I won't be lacking connection. I will keep it. Uh, and. Um, well, um, I try to give space here to the questions uh, which I receive uh, and uh, the things that uh, people ask me to better explain. So during the week, just because I know that uh, this is something that's going to be useful because uh, if some other clients have asked me to talk about it, uh, it means that uh, they have the need to know more about this kind of issue. So I am giving space to what uh, people would like to know. And uh, there was this question which was particularly interesting. Uh, it's one of my clients who makes most questions. And I truly love it when it happens because it means that uh, people want to know more and uh, what is one of my um, missions is to help you better understand uh, what uh, SEO is about and what you can do for your own site. Uh, so if uh, you have my assistance, so if you don't, uh, at least you come out of the sessions, of the trainings, uh, knowing something more. And uh, I always uh, try and make it valuable. I always try and make it uh, so that you come back with knowing something that you can use again uh, for your site, for your business. So I was asked about uh, the connection between social media presence and SEO. If there is uh, something um, that uh, connects them uh, and well there have been some declarations from Google saying over the last years or the past time uh, that uh, they were not uh, being taken into consideration uh, but then uh, once again uh, what we do is to make tests uh, and to check and to see because uh, what I like about SEO is that 
can always be proven uh, with uh, uh, data. It's not a matter of opinions, it's a matter of data and something that can be tested and proven and given values and numbers and figures. So, well, yes, there are figures and numbers uh, testifying that there is uh, a correlation between social media signals uh, and the ranking position. Uh, and this correlation is extremely high. So it's not something that doesn't have uh, anything to do. Uh, there is a connection. Uh, if you check uh, the top ranking websites on Google for any of your uh, most interesting keywords in your niche, in your industry, you will see that uh, these websites which are ranking on the top positions, uh, they display some social media signals which are much uh, stronger than the others. Um, yes, it can be a, um, some kind of reciprocal effect. Uh, it can be an overlapping of cause and effect uh, between um, the brand performance uh, and the social media presence uh, and the ranking position. Because uh, they do influence one each other. And so it's not easy to understand, to see where is the border, the limit between um, the influence uh, of the social uh, media interactions with ranking uh, or vice versa. But there are some things that you need to consider because um, if you're here, it means that you're using the social media. It means that you use Facebook and sometimes I have clients uh, I need to keep pushing uh, for not just using social media because they tend to find uh, Facebook posting uh, or uh, video making, uh, uh, tweeting, Instagram uh, much uh, easier than writing blog posts. Uh, and I can get it because uh, writing a blog post takes time uh, and research. Uh, and well, I'm not talking about keyword search, even if it should, but well, at least it takes time to write and try and formulate sentences and try and articulate thoughts uh, while uh, well, a tweet is so short and the Facebook uh, post can be not much longer or it can just be talking like I am talking now. I'm not talking about not doing it, uh, I'm talking about doing it. but uh, to do this uh, as a part of a strategy. So not just uh, uh, blogging uh, or not just uh, using your social media, but to do this uh, as part of a strategy. So you need to use your website uh, as your headquarters. Uh, on your website, you need to store your content, uh, your pages, so your blog posts, they need to be written, at least uh, also written, uh, because it can be ranking, uh, it can be, uh, all the words you write can be indexed uh, and you can target keywords on it. Uh, so do make sure you are blogging and creating articles, but uh, there are on the opposite some clients which are not particularly fond uh, of uh, social media, uh, some social media in particular, they asked me, is really necessary that I have a Facebook page because I really don't like Facebook, I like much more LinkedIn or I am very happy on Instagram, uh, I, I like Twitter much more, well, nobody can tell you you need to use that uh, social media, especially if you don't really don't like it, because if you don't like something, uh, it, sooner or later it becomes uh, kind of evident that's not your 
about tea. So um, you should find something that you like doing and you will do it with pleasure. It will seem not uh, as if you're working uh, uh, and your passion will become very evident in what you do. But you also need, uh, as always, to balance uh, between uh, what you like, what your brand uh, uh, prefers, and also what your users want, uh, what uh, do they like. So there is always a little bit of user search uh, and business intel behind that, because you need to make sure you truly know uh, on which social communities uh, your targeted audience uh, hangs out uh, most of the time. Uh, if it's uh, some kind of uh, demographic uh, uh, section uh, which mostly uses Facebook, uh, well, it might be worth giving it a try. It might be worth creating a page, try to optimize it as much as you can, uh, and try to have fun while doing it. Uh, try to discover new things that you didn't know. It doesn't have to be too much time consuming. It's going to be a test. You're actually going to see how it happens, uh, what uh, is uh, the response to your activities, uh, might be surprising. You might find uh, a slice of uh, business niche that you've never been uh, uh, meeting before. So it's like opening yourself to new channels, new opportunities. Uh, also, opening yourself to new potential uh, people uh, who check your content. Uh, it is something that can allow you a potential for links, uh, which does uh, influence your ranking position a lot. Uh, if it's good linking, uh, if it's uh, uh, a source for getting uh, high quality backlinks to your site, uh, then it was completely worth it. Uh, because you know how hard the path it can be to get some very good high quality backlinks to your site. So if uh, creating uh, social media profiles, uh, building an audience uh, can help you be found by somebody who might become your prospective customer, but uh, might also become uh, an advocate for your brand, uh, might become somebody who likes to share your content, uh, and they might share it on their site. They might create uh, a, um, a post linking to your post. Uh, this requires to use your social media, not just on the social media platform, uh, but uh, as a source of distribution of your content, which is originally hosted on your site. So that is why I recommend to use your website uh, as your home base uh, and to keep all your content there for a number of reasons, because it's easier to be browsed, uh, if in future you want to find an article, if you want to link uh, articles internally to each other, and please do, because uh, internal linking from pages and from articles does help your SEO, your user experience, uh, your website general performance a lot. Uh, to do create internal links uh, as much as it makes sense. Uh, and use uh, your social media for sharing, not for hosting your content. Uh, your content shouldn't be living on your posts. Uh, your posts should be a mean of distribution, of sharing uh, this content to your audience. Uh, so if somebody finds a post of yours with a link to your site, uh, do it as much as you can. The only place where you can't use links unless you use some tools is in Instagram, but you can use your link in Leo or you can use those link trees. Uh, um, try and use your links to your site as much as you can so that when people find uh, your, um, your posts, uh, 
they will find your site. So your uh, traffic, your website traffic will increase and they might link to it. So this is one of the reasons uh, absolutely why you should see this connection uh, between the ranking position and the social media signals. Also remember that uh, on social media um, it is about uh, real people. So what I now I'm talking to real people uh, watching uh, and hello to all of you. I'm so glad you're here. And yes, it is a matter of connecting with human beings as we are. And we all uh, are in a hurry. We all have our burden of struggles and problems. Uh, and what we can do, we can help each other fix them uh, and um, use our uh, knowledge uh, and expertise to try and be help, as helpful as we can to each other. So what we can do uh, for creating this brand awareness uh, is to use uh, these social media. Um, yes, you should be sharing your content, but uh, not uh, in a mm, not from a promotion perspective but from a service perspective because uh, what you are trying to do is uh, a very good quality customer service so you are definitely trying to help your users uh, um, and keep conversations with them uh, so they might interact with you and you in this case won't miss the opportunity to interact with them it's going to be a dialogue a conversation from you to your perspective uh, um, customers so if you keep uh, uh, reading and checking what they write uh, it's also going to be for you a fantastic way to learn uh, what your audience wants uh, because uh, yes you can do uh, you should do I can help you do if you want uh, um, keyword search uh, and uh, customer search uh, business intel as much as you, we want uh, but on social media you will find uh, your real uh, People, your real uh, prospective customers and uh, um, you should learn from them you should just uh, try and watch and see what they write uh, read what they are what their pain points are and this is important for you to create content as well so it is like a good circle coming and going because uh, you are feeding them with information and they are feeding you with questions so it keeps uh, running uh, like a good circle because uh, you provide them with material uh, and they provide you with uh, insight of which kind of materials they want so if you pay attention if you read their questions if you read uh, what they write what are their comments uh, in the groups in the communities in all the places on social media where they hang uh, you will see uh, if you check the hashtags uh, which might be of your own niche you can also see what do your competitors do and it doesn't really ever have to be like uh, copying uh, what somebody else does because it has always been noticed uh, you can see for example there are so many social media people around but each of us have got our own way i am the pink uh, italian girl talking about seo and how it works to try and make people understand the system uh, there are others they do it differently and also in your niche there will be people doing things differently and it does have to be like this uh, and they will buy from you because they like you and the way you do it so you should never hide uh, 
queen behind uh, somebody else's actions as you do not do it when you are writing uh, because you know by now that uh, you don't ever have to copy anybody else's content uh, not even if it's a boilerplate uh, so not even if it's just uh, reusing and changing a little bit uh, the somebody else's content there used to be those horrible uh, manipulative systems of uh, um, word spinning uh, somebody else's content uh, there are some tools uh, in which you just uh, find synonyms which do not seem like duplicates but basically it's the same you're not giving your audience anything because you're taking something existing you're changing a few words uh, and you're reproducing the same thing what is this helpful for nothing you should create something that comes from you from your own perspective from what your own clients ask for you to explain uh, as i'm doing now so it will be your own customers uh, are already a part of your audience uh, and uh, your audience can be a part of your uh, prospective customers uh, um, also because uh, when they search for you they can find you on google uh, and we are talking about ranking again um with your brand name but also with uh, your uh, social media profiles uh, because uh, the social media profiles rank in search engines uh, and uh, what you write uh, can be found on your social media profiles on google so if uh, you have a social media page uh, with your brand name, uh, try to optimize it as much as you can because when somebody checks uh, how your brand is like, they heard about you, they want to see what your page is like, uh, what there is about you on Google, uh, they will find your, your site, hopefully. <laughs> they should be finding in your site, but they will also check uh, which is your social media presence uh, and if your social media side pages are not not been updated if the last published content uh, is very old uh, unprofessional looking then this is not helping your business and your audience at all so you always need balance uh, your time uh, with uh, what uh, you can do and what you want to do so it needs to be balancing your goals uh, and your time but uh, you have to consider that some things just uh, have to be done so you have to keep a social media presence uh, you have to keep it updated uh, as much as you can i'm not talking about uh, two, three times a day or every day or once a week. Uh, this is up to you, entirely up to you. As always, you know, the more effort you give, the more and the faster the results you can get. But it's always a matter of balancing out. So just try to remember that, uh, yes, there is a correlation. Uh, and it goes in both ways. So from your site to your uh, social media channels if you use them for sharing your content uh, then it will become uh, the other way around so it will become from your social media channels to your site again and uh, there's a plenty of ways in which uh, people can go back because content does remain around for a long time so they will go back and they will find what you wrote about uh, what you spoke about in a video like this uh, some months ago and it all keeps uh, adding value and trust uh, because people will see that you spend time uh, 
uh, trying to explain, uh, creating articles, creating guides. Uh, and this uh, is all uh, effort and time that you do, and uh, it does create your audience, your customer base, especially if you do it uh, uh, on request, if you do it uh, basing yourself on what you know that they need uh, as I always say making people happy is the best possible uh, uh, content strategy so uh, do make them happy do um, give solutions to their questions find uh, uh, find out what they want uh, social media is a lovely place for knowing this uh, and uh, publish high quality content make sure that they are not wasting their time because they are people like we are we are all the same we are all uh, chronically time deprived uh, we are always struggling uh, and if they spend half an hour like now watching uh, somebody's content uh, it needs to be something that uh, it's giving them something. So when they are closing the video, they have ideas. Uh, they say, okay, I want to do this. I know it can help. I have my own strategy. It doesn't have to be what you say, but uh, if you're just giving inspiration, uh, this has become worth and if this video gave you <laughs> inspiration, uh, let me know. Uh, because I love uh, seeing the other side of my audience. I love to see if uh, it's been useful to somebody, if uh, somebody would like uh, some explanation about something. Uh, um, it can be a good starting point for the next one, uh, hoping that the moving and the boxes and furniture won't kill me. And <laughs> um, yeah, share it. Uh, with people you know that might be interested in this kind of uh, topics. If they have a website, uh, they might be interested in knowing what SEO is about. Uh, it's not as deadly and scary and uh, horrible as it might see because you see I'm human being as you do. I do it every day and it's not killing me. I truly love it. Uh, it's not impossible to achieve, uh, it's not uh, unaffordable because uh, I know um, it can be extremely expensive in some, uh, um, some ways, uh, but uh, it's not so extremely expensive uh, in, I, I mean, can be something affordable, it can be something that we all can do, and uh, it should be done because if you have a site, uh, it means that uh, uh, you created it uh, to be found. So it should be found, it should be giving you opportunity. So if you know anybody who's got a site and they might be um, interested in being found, share the video, share the articles uh, and for any kind of questions uh, I am here thank you so much for watching and see you next Monday bye